Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, so I just want to show you uh, one of my newest projects is a DIY fume extractor for soldering. So I do a lot of soldering um, and so a fume extractor is kind of mandatory here. Um, and I designed my own because buying a really good one um, is like 400 plus dollars and I don't have that kind of money to spend so I designed my own. Um, the ones you can find on Amazon with just a carbon filter and a fan doesn't really do much. I mean, it, the carbon filter does help with odor, but it doesn't really help with filtering out all the VLCs from the solder fumes, which is mainly flux fumes. Um, but it can irritate over time when you have a lot of it. Um, so what I designed here is a two-stage filter. Uh, the first stage is a cartridge that you can kind of slide in and out. Um, and here is activated carbon that I bought uh, from this site. I'll put it in the link below. I can't remember from the top of my head. And essentially there's, there's carbon pellets that's acid free. Um, I'm reusing this. I originally bought the activated carbon for my 3D printer. And what I found out is that a lot of lower quality carbon filters um, have acid in it, which causes linear rails to rust. Um, so I bought a big bag of it and I'm able to reuse it in this, in this project. Um, and then the next stage is this HEPA filter. Um, bought this off Amazon and it's originally designed for some vac portable vacuum cleaners that, uh, takes this, I guess, form factor of HEPA filters. So, um, the, uh, yeah, essentially, um, subjectively, uh, it works. Um, I noticed a difference, but I've yet to objectively measure the air quality um, and put an output of this. I hopefully in the future um, I can afford to buy or maybe make my own air quality sensor that I can objectively measure and get some real data. But um, the, ca the arct activated carbon does help with odor, and so I noticed that. And the HEPA filter restricts a lot of airflow, so it's it is pulling something out. Um, so that's some peace of mind. Um, and then after the two filters in here, I have a blower style fan um, with a high static pressure. So since we have two very restrict, well, somewhat restrictive and very restrictive uh, airflow um, filters, you need. Um, a high static pressure fan to really pull in uh, the fumes because if you buy a cheap one from Amazon those things have no static pressure and um, it's just high CFM which for um, restrictive filtering just not as important uh, CFM as static pressure. I bought this off DigiKey it's uh, I forgot it's a pretty high um, um, static pressure value um, it pulls this one at the 12 volt pulls 3 amps so it's it's pretty high power um, for for a fan and now um, this I bought off Amazon it's, it's a, a PWM controller I can set the frequency and the duty cycle which is very useful because this fan is a um, four wire which means I can control it with PWM and then here I just have a um, linear regulator to step down 12 volts into uh, 5 volts or 3.3 volts. Because uh, I think this is uh, the PWM on the fan is a TTL um, CMOS uh, voltage level. And so, and then I just have the switch to turn on and off the, the fan. So let me uh, quickly just show you. You can see I have it at 80% duty cycle. At, this is supposed to be 25 kilohertz. Um, so you just turn it on, you can hear. Pretty high. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to put the all the STL files. Uh, well, I print them in 3FM. 3MF is the newer um, 3D um, printer file. Uh, extension. Uh, I'll put those uh, in the link below. I'll have it on my GitHub. And yeah, let me just show you 
actually has a pretty good working distance. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you can see this here. I have this six inch ruler. So I'm gonna turn this on. I can show you essentially how far this pulls the fumes. Um, yeah, it's really, really important to get a high static pressure fan because uh, as you'll see right now, it um, with the filtering in there, it, it does a has a good suction through even through those uh, the HEPA filter and the carbon filter. Yeah, so as you saw, um, at six inches, it it still managed to suck it in, which is great. Um, so yeah, uh, hope you like it. Um, yeah, see you in the next project.